Yo, what up everybody? How you guys all doing? Hey, pardon the mess. Right now I've got a lot of things going on. So uh, currently we're getting ourselves ready for a trip to Arkansas for the day. We're actually going to be taking our, uh, our Grom, which is going to be completely different. I've never done any long trips on this thing. And uh, yeah, I got a few friends going with me. So what we had to do is we took the wheelie oil pump out of this thing. <clears throat> Shout out to Grown Beardo. That thing works awesome, by the way. I just want to make sure that for this long trip, running high RPMs, I want to have an oil pump that's pulling right out of the bottom. I'm not doing wheelies, so we put the uh, Coso oil pump in there. But either way, we went ahead, did a little bit of tuning on this thing, and got this thing a little more dialed in. So <clears throat> I'm gonna get my helmet on and uh, get out on the road for a little cruise and go say what's up to the guys and priority stunt shot. Let's get it. Soliciting from roadway by permit only. Good afternoon everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome. Welcome back. It's freaking hot out here today as always and we're outside. We're outside. Right now we're uh, on our way over to check out the guys over at priority stunt shot. My buddy Joe got himself an LT80. For those that don't know, that's a little mini four-wheeler. It's like the, it's like the little, the, it's like a brother, the brother or the cousin to the Honda TRX70. Same size, all that stuff. Thing is freaking so sweet. Two-stroke CVT, so it's completely different style than what mine is, but just as equally awesome. It's got a foot brake, unlike mine that has a handbrake. And yeah, dude, I love it. So I'm going over here to check it out. They uh, apparently did a carburetor rebuild or something. That's what I saw in his story. And uh, yeah, I want to go see how this thing running. We got 29 PSI in these tires because uh, we're going to be doing a little road trip to Mena, Arkansas for the day. I wanted to see how it feels with uh, the right amount of air in the tires. Right now, it's about 100 degrees outside. I can tell you, it feels like a blow dryer. All right, lady. Come on, lady. Thank God we're not stuck over there, right? Just went and put on the uh, the Coso oil pump. That oil pump is a uh, it doesn't have the pickup tube, so it's got the screen in it again and the, the normal oil pump. Holy boy, man! The ass end of this thing is shaking. 71 into the wind. I gotta get this thing latched. If we get full tuck, it'll go faster. 76. Holy crap. I'm not cooling off at all. This wind isn't helping. I'm slowing down now. We did a little tuning on this thing. I haven't like been able to fully go through it yet, but we did a couple revisions on her to dial in the, the cruising areas and a little bit up top. She was actually running kind of rich. We're cruising 9,000 RPMs right now down the tollway. 70 mile an hour. Like, this is really about all I feel stable at, if I'm being completely honest. Like, a lot faster than this, it just starts to get kind of squirrely. I think that's why these guys stretch them, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure, like, if I put a taller gear on this thing, roll out dude like look she's picking up speed right now oh yeah see look see how it starts to get squirrely like that that shit makes me nervous 
No speed wobbles on the ground, sir. Still doing 68, 70 into the wind. Could you imagine, like, if, like, Jixabra or somebody come flying by right now <laughs> as fast as they go? <laughs> We'd literally be in the same position. Full talk. Except people going, like, three times the speed of me. This freaking tire feels like... Maybe it's just the wind blowing me around. I feel like I'm being blown all over the damn place. Oh my goodness, where is the air conditioning at? Can a guy get some air conditioning out here? Yeah, I checked the valves on this thing and everything. It, like, valves are good. She just makes a lot of noise. For those that wonder, you know, the four valve, she makes a lot of noise. Chatter, chatter. You know what I might do? I might go buy me a freaking camelback. A camelback will be freaking perfect for this ride that we got coming up i think that's what i'm gonna do yeah a camelback oh man just keep me hydrated all these circles out here yeah you know who'd be doing this huh look at them all the circles <laughs> we won't point any fingers not a bad ride for 100 degrees you know not a bad ride we're just here around the corner from uh priority stunt shop if you guys haven't checked them out go stop in one of these days say what's up to jake most of the time you'll see joe here too come in holler at the boys Thing makes some funny ass noises, dude. Some funny, funny ass noises. <sighs> we gonna find out. We're gonna see how she runs when I we take her to Arkansas. All right, let's go in here. Look at this little jaw. <laughs> I think I got one more at the house. So this is an LT80 quad sport. Hey, we got this thing all cleaned up. Scored this thing for a deal. Look at that. Woo. Woo, it's like 150 degrees in here. Let's see it. Let's see this thing fire up. Grab bar back here. Look at that thing. Man. Gotta break her in now. Let's see it.
know he's getting hot out there. <laughs> Alright guys, well we're back. So here's something I've decided. I'm definitely going to wear long pants when I ride to Arkansas. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have a long like swim shirt on or something like that. Something that's going to cover my skin. Because uh, man, this sun, this sun is brutal. Now, we're not going to be dealing with the same temperatures um, that we're dealing with now. Hopefully. <laughs> Man, I hope. And um, so, it should be a little bit cooler. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a blast. I got a, a few friends that are down and, and, and willing to, to make the trip with me. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited that they're going. It's going to be a good time. If, uh, if all goes well and, and we all, you know, enjoy ourselves and whatnot and we think it's something that we could maybe do a little more, then you know maybe some more people can join us and we could do another one maybe go a little farther or something you know so what I'm actually doing is I'm gonna be driving a it's called the Talamina scenic or yeah yeah Talamina scenic byway and you actually go to, to Talahina Oklahoma and you start there and then you travel I believe it's highway 63 I don't don't quote me on that but you travel down that and it's 54 miles long. It's like awesome views and scenic lookouts and this, that, and the other. It's pretty spectacular, right? So, you know, it's pretty rare that I go out and do stuff like that. So I'm gonna get out for the day, just get away, not try to overdo it or anything like that. I'm not, we're not staying overnight or anything like that. We're gonna leave early in the morning, like 6 a.m. That way it's still somewhat cool. And it's a four hour trip. Hopefully we got some protection from the trees and whatnot because we're taking a back, back highways the whole way there. And if I'm being completely honest right now, we're cruising about 50 mile an hour. This is, this is probably what we'll be cruising at. I decided to not go down the interstate on the way home. I just, to be honest, it was just really uncomfortable with the wind blowing on me that hard and making me kind of squirrely and whatnot. I do not want to go down on some I don't want to go down period on any pavement let alone some scorching hot pavement that you could like cook food on oh here's what we're gonna do we're gonna get over here you could hear that thing just man I feel for these guys that are sitting outside the whole time I need some water I, I've got I've literally got my mask like my windshield on my helmet pulled down because the air is so, so hot. You know, I need to come up with a, an idea to carry like a bag or something like that on this thing while I'm driving because I don't have any sort of storage or anything. It's definitely something I'm gonna have to do. You know, this, this drive to Arkansas and back, it's really gonna be a test of this bike. I checked the valves. And, um, and everything and, and made sure that they were still within spec. So th everything was perfect. These things just make a lot of noise. I don't know why. I mean, it doesn't run any different. It's I've been beating on it for 500 miles now. Well, 500 miles on the odometer. We made a change to the gearing and went back to stock gearing not too long ago after I... I changed my ways. I changed my ways. I'm a good man. I'm a good man. I don't want to do bad stuff. This guy's over here with his hand out the window like it's something to friggin'. Ugh. That guy, that old man got to be hot in that car. He got to be hot in that car. You know, sometimes I wonder if maybe it's not, maybe it's not the head 
That's actually chattering. Maybe it's something like up in the, the head unit. Because like, this thing makes all sorts of noise, the Grom. And she's been through a little bit of abuse, you know? A couple spills here and there. All right, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Don't, don't throw a blinker on and just chew me up now. I'm using my blinker, lady, so give me some respect. Give me some respect. It's a hot one. It's so freaking hot out here. Oh, what's this guy eating? Is that ice cream? You're mean. It's hot out here. <laughs> Don't do it. That's messed up. <laughs> she says, here, you want a bite? <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> that was funny. Whoa! The car is freaking pink. Well, now that like my face is completely covered in sweat, I'll get like 30 seconds of a uh, of cool breeze until it all evaporates, and then my face is just gonna be burning up from the heat again. So, like right here. little bit like right in this area you see how smooth it is now that's because we uh we got it all too what are you staring at me for what are you looking at me like i did something wrong tell me she's not gonna cut me off she's not gonna cut me off right she's not gonna cut me off right nah you ain't gonna cut me off right what the i say what the hell oh dude my dude's in there wiping his face off you know his ac ain't working i don't know what's worse having a car with no ac or having a uh you know just having to be out here in general on a motorcycle she is just a check of lacking yeah, this guy got a rag he wiping his face off he's like boy it's hot oh we get a green light <laughs> hey guys i hope you enjoyed this video pretty sweet to see the uh more of my buddies getting into the whole mini quad stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you give that thumbs up. Like and follow. Do all that cool stuff, man, that you guys do for the folks you support. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate it. We'll holla at y'all later.